Right, today I'm going to try the CAN peripherals on this Hercules launchpad. Uh, the processor on this launchpad has two CAN peripherals and they can talk to each other and normally they do that via a CAN bus and to talk to a CAN bus you need a, a driver uh, but a transceiver but in this case it's just for uh, debugging and testing purposes there is the possibility to use a poor man's uh, driver or a poor man's transceiver so if you have a CAN bus you normally have a twisted pair where one is considered to be ground the other uh, considered to be pulled up to uh, a plus voltage uh, with a resistor I'm using here in my uh, constellation 310Ks in parallel which is about 3.3K um, and then all your CAN buses can talk to this positive line of the bus and normally you need a transceiver to make uh, the CAN peripheral from your controller talk to the bus but in the poor man's uh, constellation you can just tie all the receivers directly to the bus and for the transceivers you can use a diode that takes care that only one line at the same time talks and they don't uh, overrule each other so I would never use this constellation in a production environment but just to run the test example that is provided with Halcogen this is sufficient so this would be your processor uh, 570LS04 with the two cans receivers directly to the plus line that's pulled high to I used here 3.3 volts and the trans, uh, transmission line with the diode, uh, isolating diode also tied to the same lines. Hey, and when we look at the schematic of the Hercules launchpad, you can see that we have access to the ground, to the plus 3.3 volt, and also to the two CAN buses. So the CAN 1 is on uh, 25 and 26, and the CAN 2 is on 27, 28. The Halcogen Help has an example. And that example is called CAN Internal Communications, and that's the example that I'm going to use here. So in Halcogen, I have enabled two drivers, the CAN drivers and the DCC driver. Then on CAN, I have to first uh, keep the default configurations. This is the baud rate that I'm going to communicate with both for CAN 1 and CAN2 so I'm leaving that to what it is and then I'm going to use CAN1 as a, a transmitter so I had to activate uh, here mailbox 1 and make it a transmitter mailbox and enabled the uh, interrupts the same for CAN2 but there it's not a transmitter but a receiver the same interrupt enabled and the mailbox uh, activated and then on the interrupts here uh, on channel 16 I have enabled uh, the CAN1 interrupt and on 35 uh, I've enabled CAN2 then in Code Composer Studio I just copied the example from Halcogen the only thing that I did different was that I don't put the notification in the main file but I put it in the proper notification file. In the notification.c file you have a CAN message notification and I have pasted the content of that uh, example method here into this uh, in this file. I also had to uh, flag here that there are two external variables used uh, in, my, uh, in my interrupt handler uh, transaction DOM and the pointer to the receiving data and then I uh, can run the example um, the example doesn't do very much it first enables the interrupts it does uh, uh, initialize some data in the transceiver part uh, that can be used later it initializes the CAN peripheral uh, then does some notification uh, householding 
and then here is where the real meat happens it actually transmits some data uh, waits for that data to be finished and we know that our transmission is working when we can jump over the while here so let's first do the transmission then jump over the while and if we manage to go over that while loop here that means that our example is working so we now move beyond the while loop which means that our transaction has succeeded and we were able to transmit data uh, to the CAN and then you see that uh, there is uh, some checking done here uh, in this uh, function to see if everything went right uh, if we manage to get here uh, our function is wrong uh, if we manage to get here with the error uh, being zero then we're good so let's run here and stop till the while loop our arrow is zero that means that everything is working I will also show on my oscilloscope and on the uh, logic analyzer what data is running in this example let's first look at the oscilloscope data so I am probing the both transceiver uh, lines from CAN1 and CAN2 the scope is ready to uh, take the signal so I'm going to start the program now and there we go we have signal here so we managed to see that both uh, CAN1 and CAN2 are working I will now switch to the logic analyzer where we can look at all the signals and it's possible that you've seen this before but my logic analyzer is a Papilio Pro has been loaded with uh, logic sniffer uh, code and I'm measuring three signals I'm measuring the overall CAN bus which equals both receivers of uh, CAN1 and CAN2 I'm measuring the transmitter of CAN1 and I'm measuring the transmitter of CAN2 so there we go uh, the logic sniffer client is running I'm ready to capture my signal uh, I've assigned the right uh, COM port to the client here and I am going to trigger on the whole canvas whenever it pulls low my signal is going to be captured so I press here and it's armed now whenever I now start to run my program it should be initiated and there we go I have my traffic and uh, the channels we see here are channel 0 which is the uh, the whole bus channel 1 is can 1 transmit and I have made a mistake here I was expecting to put can 2 on channel 2 but I put it on channel uh, 3 so this is the traffic of uh, the other channel so that's what's happening on my bus hey and when you want to try to do this exercise at home uh, this is how everything was connected the ground is going to connector 10 pen 29 uh, plus 3.3 .3 is coming from jumper 10 2 with 3.3k uh, .3 to the CAN bus and then everything is connected uh, the receiver of CAN1 is directly connected to that bus and that's pen 10 26 transmitter from CAN1 is connected uh, via a diode and that's uh, coming from uh, 1025 uh, CAN2 receiver is 1028 and then again via a diode uh, CAN2 transmitter is uh, connector 1027 and to make these connections easier I had a soldered uh, female header on the Hercules launch pad and here you can see my uh, connections and my diodes it's all not very critical in this constellation where we're working on uh, a demo application in real life everything would be twisted pair and uh, would be properly done via a uh, transceiver chip 